continue our post-game coverage here on the Sioux Falls Canaries Baseball's website, sfcanaries.com, and chatting now with Canaries manager, Chris Patterson, and today's winning pitcher, Joe Bircher. Uh, first off, we'll ask Chris Patterson here, uh, Skip, talk about the win today and getting the series victory over Grand Prairie. You guys have now won three out of the last four games and uh, have a chance to take some momentum into that big series against St. Paul coming up this week. Yeah, it was a good win today to get it. Um win the series against Grand Prairie. We really should have swept the series, but we'll take the win for now. Um, as far as momentum goes, you know, always you want that before you play St. Paul, who's the standard right now in the league. So we're starting to play a little bit better baseball, and hopefully we can carry that into the next series. Uh, Joe, for you, uh, you get on the mound here today in your fourth start of the year and pick up your second win of the season. Get some run support behind you here today. We'll talk about that and uh, what was working well for you on the hill as well. Well, I mean, the biggest thing – was just throwing strikes. I mean, I got into trouble when I started walking guys, and that's when you can get into trouble against any team. And I mean, our guys in the field are going to go get it. They're really, really solid out there. So just being confident enough to throw it in the zone and let our guys go play the field. Joe, you got uh, six strikeouts today. Is that something you were aiming for, per se, or just a product of better pitch placement? Um, you work on just throwing strikes. I mean, the more around the zone you are, the better chance that there's going to be a couple swing and misses. But the goal here is just to pitch the contact and get deep in the ball game, work fast, and keep our fielders in it. I mean, the faster we get back into the dugout, the faster we're going to score runs and, and keep our foot on the gas the whole time. Well, Chris, for you, uh, you get a couple home runs today. One big one from Edwin Gomez. Uh, he's shown to have some power with doubles and things like that, but so that big blast there with three-run over kind of solidified the victory today for the Birds. Uh, he's going to be an important part of the offense and even really get things going offensively as well. Yeah, uh, having a switch hitter with some pop is always a good thing to protect the guys around him. Uh, Edwin saw a first pitch fastball, jumped all over it. I think he knew that pitcher pretty well. They played together last year, so he knows that guy was going to start him off first pitch fastball and kind of you know, baited him into it. But if we can get Edwin's bat hot with the rest of our lineup going, I think we're going to do some damage. Richard Stock had a home run earlier in that inning as well. He's leading the team in, in a few offensive categories this year. A guy who's used to catching basically once every five days, now catching as the primary backstop for the Birds. Um, is there any concern about him maybe getting tired, or is there going to be a, just let him go out there and get Tyler Schilder into the mix every once in a while? Yeah, we're going to we're going to try to do both actually. We're going to ride him as long as we can, but we're also going to get Schilder in there as much as possible. You know, as it starts getting warmer and we're traveling a little more, then you give the catcher a little more time off. But we'd love to keep his bat in there. It's a left-handed bat. Right now, you can throw anybody up there, and he's going to hit him. So we got to keep that bat hot as long as we can. Well, it's a little controversy on the box round of Jeeps going on with the right foot wall. What are some things you kind of said to Art, you know, on the field and all those overall? Yeah, you know, the way the field is uh, angled, there's a bend around it. So where Art was at, he couldn't see the angle that me and the third base umpire had to actually see the ball bounce and hit the back fence. So... Really, you just got to go out there, talk to him, and tell him to check with his other guys. And he did that, thank God, and that got Vic his home run. Joe, you and I kind of talked earlier on about this. Uh, last year, you didn't get a whole lot of one support, but this year, you're getting that one support. Uh, what's maybe been different for you individually on the mound, though, that maybe has helped you find some success here in 2015? Well, I go out there with the same game plan to throw a lot of strikes, stay low in the zone. And, um, I mean, when you have a guy behind the plate like Richard Stock, he just receives the ball really well, gives us a great target at the knees, and he's uh, really good at uh, calling pitches and staying focused and staying on the game regardless of what happens for him while he's hitting. And, I mean, that's really huge. Having that guy behind the dish is, is a big plus for us. Crowds have been improving for you guys. Uh, you're now throughout the 2015 season. Our largest crowd today of over 3,000. A lot of that, obviously, because of the kids at the ballpark. But it seems like uh, the message is out that Sioux Falls is committed to putting a better product on the field. And the community in general has uh, wrapped themselves around that a little bit now as well. Yeah, definitely. We feed off the crowds. But I think even more so, we see the crowd stay throughout the whole game because we play such close games. Whether we're winning or losing, we're always in it. And I think that makes it more exciting for the fans. Also, we have a lot of players that are, you know, just your average neighborhood kid, so it's not like they're unobtainable, so the fans are able to, you know, have an interaction with them. What are your expectations uh, for the series this weekend against St. Paul? Not so much for the fans, but uh, for the team and the crowd on the field. Yeah, we're going to go out there tomorrow and go one game at a time and see how it goes, and uh, well, hopefully we can get our bullpen some rest. If we can get a good deep start out of one of our starting pitchers, it would help us a lot. But we saw them. 
Um, I think we can match up with them, you know, as well as anybody else in this league. We had a bunch of close games, so go out there and ride our pitching. Congratulations on the win today, guys, and uh, thanks for your time. Thanks. Thank you. That's Chris Patterson and winning pitcher Joe Bercher. We'll talk to you guys next time as we wrap up our post-game interview here on SFCanaries.com.